Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Robert Rayner Photography with an F. Um, I haven't done a lot of videos, I've done a lot some sports things um, on my channel, um, but I've noticed that everybody likes to look at people's camera bags and what they have and what do they use, and um, so I decided to do one myself. Um, so I guess we'll start out with the bag. Um, the bag that I love to use because I like to carry everything at once. I don't really travel out of state a lot. Um, so this works great for me. Um, it is the Seahorse CE920. Um, what I love most about this bag, besides the sheer size of it, is that, unlike Pelican, which I did look at and consider, is that you can actually lock these. Just like that, and you cannot open them. On top of that, you can put extra security, lock it here, and you got a real secure bag. Nobody can get into it. And this is solid. It's nice and smooth. You can stand on it. You can throw it in the water. It will float. Another thing, it overlaps to the gasket. I love that part of it. Um, it has a, its own vacuum seal, so when you unlock it, you can actually almost feel the pressure when you unlatch it. These are nice and sturdy. It actually will lock right there in its own place, so it doesn't close on you. Um, you'll notice the gasket seal all the way around there. Um, it's a great bag. Um, really thick foam it's nice and deep um, pretty much holds everything as you can see that I'll be going through I guess we'll start out with the first thing I have on top this is my off-camera um, flash grip it goes right on the camera here you put your flash here you can turn the flash this way you can put this right on top you can turn that just like that that'll sit just like that on your camera um, face it towards this way bring it back down I mean, this is a great investment. Um, what's nice about this one here, if you're going to a studio or off uh, somebody's place of business, um, you don't want to carry a lot of stands in. Um, this with this, without any stands and just one flash and a reflector, you can do a lot of portraits with this. It's that simple. You know, it's the secret to taking a great flash is to get the flash off the camera. This does that for a very small investment. I bought this on Amazon. Honestly, I think I paid 30, 40 bucks for it. Um, that's it. It's got a nice little grip. So I always use that there. One camera you don't see is what I'm recording with is my 70D. Um, um, it's a great camera. Uh, I use that mainly for sports. Um, takes great pictures and great video. Um, I use that on this lens here, which is my Tamron um, 70 to 200 with 2.8 um, lens. It is an incredible lens. I love this camera lens. I was really um, conflicted about buying the Canon one, um, you know, and I was really, I was in the store ready to purchase the, the Canon one um, with stabilization as well. Um, they just got this one in, uh, the sales guy. I, I did watch a lot of videos on it, but I wanted to, I thought, you know what, I want to be like everybody else, buy the Canon um, because that's what everybody buys um, I don't want to say everybody but most people uh, but after talking to the two different people in the studio and in, inside the store um, where I was going to purchase this um, they all convinced me that I, my um, first thought of buying this one was correct they think for the money and the pictures to picture especially the center point which I'm going to use this for portraits um, you can't tell a difference and this is about eighteen hundred dollars less than the Canon. So with that I was able to buy some different stands. Um, I was also able to buy this um, which I put this t on my on my Tamron and this gives me two times so it takes it from a 200 to a 400 um, without having this invest money into another lens and spend another fifteen two thousand three thousand dollars for a 400 range lens. Um, you do lose two stops of light but most of the games that I videotape are during the day so light is really not an issue for me I'm not going to be doing night um, sports <coughs> as of right now um, so this works great for me underneath here I have the nifty 50 um, that everybody says you need to have and I agree it is a great lens for the price I think I paid like hundred and ten dollars at the same camera store here um, it's a 1.8 um, something that you can put on your camera go downtown take some great pictures even some landscaping some buildings um, great portraits lens as well um, up and close great lens 
love that lens. Um, I have some cards here. I don't have a lot of cards. Um, I have some of the cards from my Canon 70D, and then I have one FC. Of course, I have one in the camera already. CF card of me, sorry. Um, the next lens I love for portraits is my 85mm 1.8. This is an incredible lens. I did look at the, um, again, the Canon L lens 1.2. But, you know, it's $1,500, $2,000 more than this lens. Um, and honestly, with all the reviews that I looked at, I, I just couldn't justify the price. And since I've had it and taken photographs with it, the bokeh or bokeh, whoever, who, whoever wants to say it right, um, I don't have any complaints. I think the photographs are, are priceless. They're beautiful. Um, they're extremely sharp um, and I'm extremely happy with it so I definitely would recommend if you do portraits it's definitely recommending not necessarily this lens uh, I'm not going to tell you what to buy but the bottom line is that you do definitely need an 85 millimeter lens the next one I do have is an L lens and is a 24 to 105 I like this one here because it does have the stabilization on it um, this is a great lens you can use it Pretty much, I mean, it's it's something you can use all the time. Um, you know, on the road, portraits, landscapes, whatever you want. This does it all. It's a, not a very heavy lens. It's a great lens. I definitely love it. A lot of people like to use the 24 to 70 with the 2.8. Um, I just don't see the use in that. Um, when you're doing portraits, again, I'm going to use this more when I'm taking pictures of more than one person, two or three people. It does work great for one person, but when you're taking pictures of two or three or four or five or six people, you're not going to be using 2.8. So, and it's also less expensive. I think it's like four or five, six hundred dollars less than the 70, the 24 to 70. The next lens that I invested in um, got some great reviews um, on. Um, on YouTube was the 10 to 18 Canon um, with stabilization. Um, it is a micro at uh, 0.22 millimeters. Um, this is a great lens. It's got the kind of a cool lens in the front. Um, takes incredible pictures for. I think I paid at the camera store again. I did not buy this on eBay or Amazon. Um, 100 and, 110 bucks, something like that. Um, you know, the only complaint I have about the lens, really, is that it's got the plastic in the back. As long as you, I'm careful with all my equipment, as you can see, it's all well taken care of. Um, I don't have an issue with it. I think if you drop it one time, it's done. But for $110, you could always afford to go get another one. Um, you know, I think there's a lot nicer ones out there. But for what I'm going to use it for, it, it's an incredible lens. And I have no complaints about it. Also, I have these two flashes here. Um... Ultra flashes. I paid about seventy nine ninety nine. These I did buy on Amazon. Uh, did a lot of YouTube's uh, searching for good flashes. These are about seventy nine ninety nine at piece. Um, they're very strong. I have no complaints. I can take these two things um, with the Gary Fong um, kit, um, which this is the light sphere, and then this is the light or speed snoot that they, they like to call. And this basically goes right on my flash like this and I can direct light wherever I need to go and honestly it's an incredible incredible invention um, so with this and this and two camera stands and the two flashes and and a maybe a reflector I have a whole studio right there and I can go anywhere at a minute's notice um, on time is money you know I can go there take my shots and get out um, go to another place, do the same thing. Um, I don't have to carry all these umbrellas and fancy things. I can do everything with this. You can also use these inside of a studio, and they work impeccable. You know, you're not going to be able to get every single shot you want to with these two things, but overall, for headshots, um, you know, a couple of portrait shots that people want to take of families, these do it all. Um, so I definitely recommend these. Gary Fong, again, um, is the inventor of these. I, bought, I did buy these on Amazon, but there's really no discount on those. Um, they are what they are. You can buy them directly through him, or you can buy them on Amazon. You might save a few dollars, but not much more on these. And these flashes, there are better ones out there. But I'll tell you, for what I'm using them for, they're incredible. They work great. They're very strong. Um, if you're going to shoot into direct light, um, 
why you would for whatever reason I have no idea they're not going to work they're not strong enough for that but for outside portraits um, to, to really get the right scene and great flash they work great for me I haven't had any complaints with them at all um, the camera I also like to use again I'm doing portraits I'm not doing high speed sports is the Canon 5D Mark II um, it's a full sensor camera compared to my 70D as you can see it's well taken care of um, it's a great camera it takes great photographs they're clean they're crisp um, I have no complaints I have no reason to invest another fifteen hundred dollars um, and get the the Mark III eventually I will um, but I think by the time I get ready to do that I think there's going to be a lot better camera out there um, I know there's probably better cameras than the Canons I just happen to be I love the Canon cameras. Um, I just think they're going to continue to get better as time goes. Um, <laughs> here on my little pockets here, um, these are nice to have with this case. Um, you know, I know the Pelicans have that as well. I got my batteries here. I got my extra. I got extra shoulder straps. I have a dead cat that goes on my mic that's on my 70D right now. I got extra batteries, charger. Uh, knickknacks, screws, um, wrenches, extra batteries. Um, this is a cord here that goes from my Canon 5D to my computer. So when I take a photograph, it appears right on my camera. I can take a look at it and make sure it's the perfect shot that I need. Um, of course, I have the flashlight as well. I can do what I need to do. So basically, for what I'm doing, for what I'm using, this is everything that I need. I really cannot think of anything else that I would need um, to do what I do. Um, you know, for portraits, in the studio, outside the studio, everything fits in here perfectly. If I need to do want to bring some stands, I definitely have an extra bag for that. And it's just an inexpensive bag that I throw everything in there and I can take it to, to the site and set up very quick. Um, from my back, my back screens, everything is all portable. Um, but for all my camera equipment, this works great. No complaints. Definitely recommend compare. And I think this is even le less expensive than the um, Pelican. And it's bigger, not that much bigger, but it is big enough that you can have three things across. Unlike the Pelican, you can basically do two. Um, and it uh, does it all. And I think the orange color, it's much cooler. It's not boring. It's not black. It's not, it's not like they're not going to know that you have a Pelican. This is just more refined, I think, personally. Um, it's just my opinion. Um, I love it. I think it works great. Um, it's in great condition. It'll float. It'll protect your equipment. The key is a nice thing as well. So if you forget your lock, no big deal. You can still lock it. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, it's my first one. Probably it wasn't great. Appreciate your time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a like or a thumbs down. Prefer a like. Um, you know, I'm going to continue to do things like this. Maybe some pr things I purchase in the in, in the future. I'll do some unboxing. Seems like people like that as well. Um, I do like to buy. Makes me feel good. Um, but um, again, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe again. And thanks for watching. That's it. Thanks. Bye.